Okay, so this is still question two from the <coughs> year 13 probability sample exam. And we're looking at a screening program here uh, for different metabolic disorders, so looking at newborns. And the screening attempts to identify babies who have the metabolic disorder. And these babies are then referred for diagnosing testing to confirm it. So it's kind of like how they're, you know, screened for people with the flu at the airport. They just look to see if anybody looks like they have a temperature, and then they might send them off to see if they actually have the flu. They might not. Um, and that's the same process. There's something they're looking at these babies and saying, oh, they might have it. Let's send them to be tested. So that's how the screening process works. We look at it. We say, oh, they look like they could have it. Um, we'll send them off. So the screening identified 18 and 20,000 babies as being more likely to have the disorder. Not that they have it, but that they're more likely to have it. And then the follow-up testing. So again, they get screened and then they get tested. Um, and retesting, so the whole process of actually confirming it, finds that only around 10% of those babies identified through the screening actually have the disorder. So again, we screen 18 and 20,000 we think might have it, and only 10% of those 18 and 20,000 actually do have it. So our next thing we're looking at here is approximately 6 in 66,000 roughly babies actually have this disorder. So this is the real population, this is the absolute risk. So screening or not screening, just in general, how many babies have this disorder, that's the probability we would use. So the question is, if a baby actually has this disorder, what is the approximate risk? Now that doesn't say relative risk, it just says approximate risk. And remember that risk is the same as probability of not being diagnosed with this disorder through the screening process. So we've got to figure out what's going on here. To remember the screening process, that takes 18 and 20,000. Do it as a fraction. So 18 out of 20,000 or get screened for being they might have it. And out of those 20,000, or 18 out of 20,000, only 10%, so that's 0 0.10. Remember, 10% always convert percentages to decimal. So that'll tell us, of those screened, how many actually do have it. And the number that we get here, 0 0.00009. So these are the ones that screened and have it. Okay, And we're asking here, if the baby actually has a disorder, what is the approximate risk of not being diagnosed with this disorder through the screening process? So it's quite a tricky question. And what they're trying to figure out is, out of this whole group, some of them get screened, some of them don't get screened, some of them that screened are positive, but some of them who are not screened might be positive as well, but they didn't get picked up. And we're trying to figure out who is that group there. So it might be helpful to go back to what is the whole population risk to begin with. So that's going to be 6 out of 66400. That's the risk of having it, just full stop. So out of that group, if I know that approximately this proportion, 0 0.00009, we're screened for it, and have it, we can find those that um, potentially out of that group, that difference, that were not screened and have it. So if I do that subtraction, 6 over 66,400 minus 0.00009, the number I get here has a lot of zeros. You might also see that on your calculator, written in exponential form. Um, so what I've got here is the decimal form, but in exponential that could be 3.61 times 10 to the negative 7. It might also show that on your calculator. Okay, so that's the possibility of those who have not been screened and have it, but it's not my total probability. So. <clears throat> what we've got to get out of here is this idea that we're looking for 
what's the probability that they're not screened and have it out of the prob out of the total probability that they actually have it to begin with. So this becomes a conditional or a given probability. If the baby actually has the disorder, so that's the given statement right there. Sometimes if they state it, we know that they actually have the disorder. So it's not, in general, out of the random world, what's the probability that a child will not be screened and have it? We're saying if we know they have it, so if the baby actually has the disorder, this part's been given to us, we know we're going to use the conditional bit here. So what's the probability, given we know that they have it, that they're not diagnosed through the disorder through the screening process? So we have to use that conditional probability. So the probability that they have it, that was this one, 6, point, 6 divided by 66,400, and that becomes 0 0.00009036.1. So remember, conditional probability, we're going to say out of the group that has it, what's the probability that they were not screened and that they do have it. So, that's what we figured out up here. The 0 0.00000361. And we put this into our calculator, we should get 0 0.004. So that's the probability, given that they actually have the disorder, that they will not be screened. Um, and we can convert that to a percentage, if you like. It's a bit far. So 0 0.004 times 100, 0 0.4 percent chance that given they have the disorder, they're not picked up in screening. So that's pretty good. It's not that um, having the disorder is a bad idea, but that the screening process is pretty accurate, that there's less than 1% of the people who have it that are not picked up through the screening process. And that's what they're getting at here. So to kind of recap how the problem went, we figured out that those that screened it, um, those that were screened and have it, we had this probability here of 0 0.00009. And then we had to figure out, well, what's the probability that they're not screened and they do have it? So I could look at what's the total probability that they have it, Let's take away the part of the probability that is those that are screened and have it and see what's left over. Those would be the people who are not screened and have it. So this is like the group that gets missed out of the total population. So again, this is the total population, the absolute risk here, the 6 over 66,400. If we take away the ones that get screened for it, we're left with the ones that are not screened for it but actually have it. And then it becomes our conditional probability. Those that were left over, they were not screened but they have it out of the group that actually have it. And again, you've got to watch in that wording of the problem. If a baby actually has the disorder, they're telling me something. I know some information. I'm only looking at that group anymore. It's going to be a given, and I need to put that on the bottom of my fraction to figure out what the risk is in that case. Of the people that have it, what's the risk of them not getting screened for it?